The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Visit us at stoptextstoprex.org. Hi, welcome to the Destin Business Forum, brought to you by the Destin Area Chamber of Commerce. I'm your host, Amy Perry, and our next guest is Magna Cooper, who, along with her husband, Corey Cooper, is the owner of Boatboard. Yes. Okay, for those who do not know, what is Boatboard? Boatboards is a stand-up paddle company. Um, for those of you guys that don't know what a stand-up paddleboard is, that's the fastest growing sport in the U.S. right now. Uh, if you've looked out and you've seen people that are on seemingly oversized surfboards but have a paddle in their hand and they look like they're effortlessly gliding, gliding in the water, water and yeah. you may think that they have some extreme amount of balance. I promise you they don't. Almost anyone can do it. It's just getting on the right board. Um, okay, that's the secret. Yes, <laughs> that is the secret. <laughs> because I have a confession to make. I have one and I, I the first time I did it, I did it on a... Um, on a lake behind mm -hmm. my house and I thought I was so skilled because I just stepped onto the boat I mean onto the board and went around the lake a couple of times it was fun and it was apparently sort of easy because I didn't fall off and then um, my husband said well let's put it in the in the ocean and he's a surfer so he was zooming around no problem and I thought okay I can do this like I did on the lake and got up I did actually stand up and then Bam, just crashed into the water. I don't know. I think I gave up after 10 tries. So what, what, what did I do wrong? Well, I would have to know. Besides what waking up have. that day. Well, no. <laughs> but you have different boards. Like, for example, boat boards, we have nine different models. We've got a 9-6 a board that's going to be for your kids. If I tried to stand on it, even in flat water, I'd be going, I'd be falling off the board left and right. Okay, that makes me feel um, a little better. And then we go, we've got a board that is, our largest board is 14 feet. But our most stable board is the board that's the 12 foot. Um, it's the 12 foot HD. It's a it's a wider board. It's a thicker board, and stability on a board has a lot to do with the size of the board. And also, as far as when you're talking about conditions, mm -hmm. in flat water, a board is going to be much easier to stand on. But then when you get out into some uh, wavier conditions, yes. the you know if you're having if having problems standing on the board, then you may need a slightly larger board or a lot of times with practice and you'll learn how to do it but it is going to be different out in the gulf than it is on flat water it was yeah i learned quickly that you know a lake nice smooth conditions and then i just felt it coming from everywhere i couldn't now i, I found when i got on my knees you know i could i could kind of stay up i mean i could stay up i yeah. wasn't standing up but then i could it got a lot easier why was why was that so on a paddle board when you lower your when you essentially if you sat down if you're in some rougher conditions and you sat down when you lower your center of gravity then you become more stable on the board okay, um, okay. kind of when you stand up you're just you're just not going to be as stable as if you're sitting down on the board so like with paddle boarding because we bring you know there's it's a new sport and a lot of people mm -hmm. think that they need to have a you know, a strong core, need to be in really great shape to be able to do this sport, but it's not true. Almost anyone can do it on a, you know, if they're on the right board. Right and board. yes, you do want to start most people off in flat water. And then we always tell people that if you're in, you know, if you're, even if you're in the harbor and you've got some boat wakes going by. Hang um, on. You know, hang on. And if you get uncomfortable, you know, s sit down. And, you know, in that way, it just makes people comfortable and don't um, do it around your friends the first couple of times because it's so embarrassing when no. you just keep on falling on your face. So if, if somebody like me comes in and says, you know, I, it looks so neat and when friends do it, they look so cool, um, help me. Do you take somebody out into the water or do you suggest a board for them? And then if they, do they try it out or what? It depends. There's, you know, we've got the 12 foot board that we, um, that boat makes almost anyone is going to be able to stay on that thing and it's it's stable um but there's there's different boards you've got racing racing boards that are going to be faster and they're not as stable mm -hmm. um, and so we do encourage people to try them the only boards that we um, rent out of the Destin store are the 12 footers but there's a number of activities almost on any given weekend um, there's a group in Destin called paddle Destin uh, they do stuff on the harbor 
um, right now with the Thursday fireworks. Every Thursday night, if you go out to the point, um, the paddle dusting group's gonna be out there. Well, they and have that, a group, That's it really is growing. Yeah, it's, and you'll have the most that I've seen out there is about 80 people on any, on any given Thursday. There's gonna be almost at least 30 people out there. Um, we don't, boat doesn't come every week, but a lot of times we will come and bring some boards for people to try. And so that's a good time to go and, and try some different boards because it really is not all boards are equal. Um, our nine, nine, nine and a half foot board is, you know, nothing like the 14 foot board. Um, and so different, I guess, different boards for different people. And that's okay. something that not everyone realizes when they first go out to buy a board. Sure. Um, and so you want to be educated on all of the different different boards out there and you know for you know for some people they're gonna just be using a board in flat water yeah. and so they may not need something that they need out in the you know out in the open ocean because there's a lot of different things is there a board that you can get that you could graduate you could use it in flat water but then you could graduate to the the not rough seas, but the, you know, go into the ocean and still be able to use I would that. say that almost <clears throat> any board, you can graduate into those conditions, but the different boards are gonna be more challenging. And the more time you spend on the board, the more comfortable you're gonna, going to get in those conditions. And that's something that, that does come with, you know, a little bit more practice, because it's not necessarily, sometimes it's not the board, it's just getting comfortable um, you know, you're going from either one, for, for me, for example, I'm not a surfer, never have been. I would, I would love to be, but I, I don't yeah. think it's in the cards for me. Um, but what I do is I get more comfortable each time I go out in the Gulf because I'm not, you know, I'm not comfortable with the waves yeah. taking me in. So that's something that I have to um, practice. And the more I do it, the more comfortable I get because it's more getting used to the movement of the water um, and getting comfortable on it. Okay, silly question, but are there paddleboard classes that you can take? There are. Um, there's a number of uh, lessons that go on in this area. We do, Boat will put on, if you go to our website, uh, if you check on it, it's www.boatboard.com. No S, boat No board. S, just okay. B-O-T-E board.com. We'll do, um, sometimes we'll do a clinic uh, once a month, but then you've got races that go on um, at least once a month in the Destin area, there's some sort of paddleboard race, and it's it's for everyone. There's there's a beginner race that's a mile, and they a lot of them will have uh, a mile. A that mile seems like is a long way in the water. <laughs> it it can be, but it's it's a mile is not too difficult, and almost anyone can do it. And you've okay. got all levels. You have um, beginners to advanced elite paddlers in this area. And so, if I, I were in the beginner, I wouldn't be with a, a lot of kids. <laughs> no. Now there's there's all ages, and that's the other thing about stand up. Uh, you've got an age range of anywhere from kids that are f five or six years old mm -hmm. to you know people that are in their late seventies, early eighties that do it. So it's a sport for all ages. Oh, the kids seem like they love it and they take to it. Very, I mean, my, I have a five and a half year old, mm -hmm. and she she can jump on the board in the ocean and stand up and. I guess their center of gravity is a little lower. Their center of gravity is a little bit lower and they weigh a little less, so the board's gonna ha be more buoyant for them, therefore gotcha. making it more stable. Okay, okay, I gotcha. All right, let me, um, let me back up a little bit. So I, I, I wanna understand and know why you decided to start this business. That's always of interest to me. And to um, we started this business in 2009. Uh, my husband, Corey, he is a mechanical engineer by trade and he, his passion is to design things. And whenever okay. he sees something, he's got an eye for wanting to make it better. And so he, um, we've always been big in fishing, um, love fishing. Both of us have always, um, uh, before we started the paddleboard company, would, you know, wake up on an early morning and go fishing. And one of the biggest things about paddleboarding, the first thing that we stepped foot on one was like, man, this would be a great platform to fish off of. Because boat board, our original model um, in our flagship board is a board that is built to be able to fish off of it. You've got some fishing attachments that attach onto the board that's different than any other company out there. And so... So the thought was you could actually stand up and fish. Exactly. Oh, you got to have some good and balance to do that, right? No, it's the board. The board is built for it. 
especially in flatter waters. Okay. But when you're fishing off of something, you want to have a space for everything. You can't just go out on a paddle board and set a rod here and your, ta and your you know, little tackle bag mm -hmm. here. And you need to have a place for everything. So our 12 foot board, there's a, a spot to where you can attach a cooler, which serves as a seat as well. Um, we have a, it's called the tackle rack. It's a aluminum arch that is behind you that holds two rod holders. I mean, sorry, two fishing, mm -hmm. two fishing rods. Um, there's a place for it to put a backpack or a gear bag for your tackle. You've got bungees in the front and the back because the advantage of fishing on a paddle board is you can get into areas that you absolutely cannot right. get in on a boat. Sure. And you can get into areas with being quiet. And so it's an excellent uh, fishing vessel. Maybe not the most efficient, but for those that are seeking adventure and a little bit of a different way to fish, right. it's an awesome way to go out there and enjoy yeah, things. And so that's how we started and that was our first model and then we have evolved since then to add we've got the the kids board we do a, t a smaller board that is meant a little bit more to take out into the gulf because it's shorter so you can turn a little bit more mm -hmm. on waves and then we get into um, some of the faster narrow boards that you wouldn't fish off of but they're great for those that are seeking exercise or want something that's a little bit more challenging on their body because the fishing board it being designed for stability to be right, able to cast off of. Yeah. Um, while it's still, you're still gonna get a level of exercise from it and it's gonna benefit you, but if you want something that takes you kind of to the next level, then you're gonna be looking at some of the narrower boards that require more core stability and using you know, your whole body a little bit more than that fishing board. Speaking of the next level, I know that we've got the, um, I've, I've been calling it the sub cup but mm -hmm. it's Paddle at the Porch, and Boat Boards is partnering with the Destin Chamber yes. to, to have that event. Um, I wanted to talk a little more about that, but we're running out of time. Okay. So just quickly, that is happening on August 18th. I bet you I'm gonna see you out there. I'll be out there. It's happening on August 18th at the Back Porch. Um, the Southern Restaurant Group is gonna be uh, helping mm -hmm. both the Chamber and Boat Boards put on this event. Uh, you can register at active.com or if you go to uh, www.boatboard.com or the Destin Chamber website, you'll be able to find information okay. on the event. It's going to have a beginner's, you'll have a three mile race, a, beginner, a beginner's race, and then an elite six mile race. Okay. Um, and it's going to be an event for everyone. Even if you don't want to participate, if you're not ready to participate in the event yet, you can um, come and watch because it's going to have you know various activities for everyone out okay. there. Magna, thank you. I'm going to have to read our upcoming events, but um, I'll see you out there, and I hope to see everybody else out All right, there. Thank you. All right, our upcoming events are July 26th, Business After Hours is 5.30 to 7.30, sponsored by St. Andrews by the Sea Episcopal Church. The Beach Boogie Band will entertain the crowd. There will be wine, beer, great food, and networking. July 31st, Okaloosa County Candidate Political Forum, sponsored by the Destin Log. That will be held at the Destin United Methodist Church Life Center from 5.30 from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. You can meet the candidates for Okaloosa County positions, including sheriff, tax collector, superintendent of schools, county commission, school board, and Destin Fire Commission. August 14th, the Destin Area Chamber Leaders in Business Lunch. That will be sponsored by Northwest Florida State College. Location is Destin United Methodist Church Life Center, and the speakers will be Northwest Florida State College. August 18th, Paddle at the Porch, the Destin Sup Cup stand-up paddleboard race inaugural event for the Destin Area Chamber of Commerce sponsored by Northwest Florida Regional Airport flyvps.com boat boards the back porch the location is behind the back porch and sponsorships are still available September 20th is Oktoberfest at the Golf Gardens and the details will be coming up soon thank you and see you next time